All right, in other national news, President Biden, it's now official. He's going to run again in 2024. This afternoon, he made his first public appearance in front of a union crowd uh, after announcing a new campaign with a focus on jobs and the economy. He focused on themes that he says he's going to be building over the next 18 months and ended with the things he has done in these past years as president. And he says he is not finished just yet. But there's more to do, so let's finish the job. I've long said it's never been a good bet to bet against America, and I can honestly say as I stand here today, I've never been more optimistic about America's future. We're on the cusp of major change. We're creating jobs again. Manufacturing has come alive again. People can afford a decent health care. Towns that have been forgotten and left behind for dead are coming alive again because of you all and what we're doing. Now we've just got to keep it going. Finish the job. We just remember who we are. We are the United States of America. Ahead of the announcement, a CBS News poll found Democrats were accepting of his reelection bid. 22% said they were excited. Their number one concern, his age. President Biden is 80 years old, and that's a first for a major presidential campaign. Looking at other Democratic candidates, Marianne Williamson was the first to officially declare her candidacy. The 70 year old spiritual advisor also ran back in 2020. Robert F. Kennedy Jr. is also running. The 69 year old is the nephew of former President John F. Kennedy. On the Republican side, former President Donald Trump was the first candidate to formally announce his campaign. Former Governor Nikki Haley is also running for president. She announced her bid in February. Former biotech executive Vivek Ramaswamy threw his hat into the ring. He's 37 years old. You got to be 35 to be president. And former Arkansas Governor Asa Hutchinson is also running. And more thinking about running. In addition to Senator Tim Scott, there's Florida Governor Ron DeSantis, former Vice President Mike Pence, the former director of the CIA Mike Pompeo, and New Hampshire Governor Chris Sununu.